Hey everybody, Ash here with Gen Sense. Today I'm going to be coming at you with the uh, Creed Fragrance tier list. So this is my personal tier list. You're probably not going to agree with everything here, so just be aware of that. Don't get triggered. Don't get angry. I know sometimes these fragrance videos get people really riled up when uh, my opinion is not the exact same as yours. You know, try not to let that bother you. There's more important things to get upset over. But anyway, uh, this is the fragrance tier list for Creed. I'm going to do another one for niche, uh, niche houses, and one for designer houses. Now Manny with Cascade Scents, good friend of mine, actually built this tier list. I'm using his, uh, or his template here. So if you're unaware of his channel, Cascade Scents, check that out. This is actually something that he and I had talked about doing for a long time, uh, years ago. Uh, we first talked about doing tier lists for fragrances, fragrance houses, stuff like that. And it kind of goes back to um, fighting games. So way back in the day, I worked at an arcade. Uh, I played fighting games competitively, uh, at tournaments and things like that. And in fighting games, there were always tier lists. So, you know, depending on how good or how bad a character in a fighting game is, they'll be higher up or lower on the tier list so we thought it would be kind of cool to do with that with uh with fragrances now we're finally getting around to doing it i'm doing it a lot later than he is but hey whatever uh so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into this okay so here we go creed fragrances um should we just work like that way or just do randoms i think maybe randoms <laughs> Okay, so we'll start with uh, Tabaro Millicene, and for me, F tier. Tabaro is my least favorite Creed fragrance. Um, I was really hyped when I got that, uh, when I first bought a bottle, and I did blind buy it. I know, don't blind buy. So it's kind of pitched as like this ginger tobacco fragrance, and the whole Creed story is that Winston Churchill used to wear it. Um, now, Creed has a lot of stories of famous people uh, that fragrances were made for, and then if you really try to dig into it, there's not much to support their claims. But uh, I don't get really any tobacco, and to me, it just doesn't it doesn't smell very nice. So, Tabarom, gonna get the F. Sorry, Tabarom lovers. So let's see what's next. What's next? Okay, so this one will just be easy peasy. Uh, Green Iris Tweed for me. That's in the S tier. <laughs> so now we've got the S and the F. Uh, a lot of people probably would put Green Iris Tweed in like the A, maybe even B tier. It's one of their most popular fragrances, but it's got similarities to uh, Cool Water by Davidoff. Even though Green Iris Tweed did come first, a lot of people will say, oh, you know, Green Iris Tweed is uh, copying water but if you look up their release dates green hours tweed came out a couple years earlier but um to me it's just higher quality than cool water i mean it should be for the price so i mean that's not really saying anything but uh, i'm supposed to smell like a walk through the irish countryside uh, lemon verbena in there smells great uh, fantastic springtime fragrance one of my most worn fragrances probably of of all time anyway green hours tweed for me s tier i don't want to drag this out so let's keep going original vetiver so okay I'm gonna drop it in C and here's why original vetiver to me does smell good I like the way it smells A really nice clean soapyish type vetiver um, busted out in springtime summertime it smells good issues are the similarities it has to some designer fragrances like Mugler Cologne, and Mugler Cologne is way cheaper than Original Vetiver. So, if you were going to present the, do, the two fragrances to me, Original Vetiver and Mugler Cologne, at full retail or what you could get them for at discounters, I would pick the Mugler, like, every time. The quality increase that you get from the Creed is not worth the price difference there. So... 
because of the price and because of the unoriginality that's gonna knock it down but I do like the scent so I figure somewhere right in the middle you know I mean you could bump it down to a D and I wouldn't argue with you because of that uh, you know price versus what you're getting kind of thing but yeah we're gonna throw that in a C and we'll get its uh, brother here Santal original Santal and that's gonna be a D for me and I know a lot of people really like original Santal they like that smell uh, they think it's a really great fragrance. So I'm not going to argue with you there. This one has the same issue as original vetiver. This one smells similar to Mont Blanc Individuel, and that one is really cheap. Uh, I'm not as much of a fan of that fragrance as I am vetiver, and that's why it's down a little bit. Uh, same issue with vetiver though, so that one's going to be a, a D. Okay, next up, uh, let's see, let's see, Aventus Cologne. This one I've only, I don't have a full bottle, I've only gotten the the spray sample and I wore that the whole the whole thing it's between these two like if I could put it in the middle like in between like a D and a half I, I was thinking about it but I I got to drop it in the E it's just it didn't really it didn't really do it for me I gotta say like Aventus has so much hype behind it so much I guess recent history behind it especially with those earlier batches that everybody looks for um, and Aventus is one of my favorite fragrances if I really had to break it down you know my older batches that I have of Aventus really 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 good quality great stuff Aventus cologne just kind of was boring to me um, not worth the hype because I mean people have been talking about this release in kind of like whispered hushes for a couple years now where people are like oh there's there's a new Aventus coming I heard there's a new Aventus and people would be like oh my god is there really no way it's not possible and then pictures started popping up online of like you know one single picture of the bottle taken and they're like look it does exist Aventus cologne oh my god and um, then I smelled it and it's like okay <laughs> it's like um, it's like you dialed Aventus back and made it kind of a designerish type fragrance you know with the big bunch of ambroxan in there i mean people aren't going to smell it and say it smells bad or anything like that it's just um if you own aventus and you own any of those designer fragrances that are are like that you know your ambroxan bombs your compliment uh, getting fragrances you know your versatile stuff then why care about aventus cologne okay um royal uh mayfair c that one is one that uh, a lot of people don't like you know that's like a c and a half i'll move that up to b royal mayfair goes up to b for me and that's going to be one a lot of people don't don't really like um or some people are going to say they don't like it's got a eucalyptus in the opening and turn some people off but uh that one i think is a, a nice classy type fragrance Aventus s you know it is what it is it's Aventus. i'm not going to talk too much about that so royal oud a really really like royal oud even though it's not really much of an oud fragrance it, it has nice uh spicy kind of peppery facets with um more like cedar it's still nice it's a classy fragrance um himalaya this is one people probably not going to agree on himalaya for me an a um it's it's not super duper complicated or anything to me it's just kind of brisk it's like that musky kind of soapiness a little bit of metallic feel to it uh, i really really like himalaya especially springtime um actually wore it a bunch this spring so himalaya an a for me um i know that one doesn't get get talked about a ton but i really like it let's see silver mountain water silver mountain water for me also really good really nice it's got that inky metallic uh kind of vibe that everybody you know talks about and mentions with that one uh it is uh unique well i guess it's not now because it's been copied a million times but it was unique but uh, that one you got to be a little bit careful on the trigger i screwed up with that and sprayed it way too heavily when i first got that one in and had some really negative reactions so silver mountain water is one that at least for me personally if you go really heavy may not turn out so well for you viking this is one that i don't own a full bottle of uh, I, I got the spray sample, went all through the spray sample. It's the same as with Aventus Cologne. Viking, another one that was heavily hyped. Viking gonna be a C for me. It's one that 
I'm interested in getting, but it has to be at the right price. So Viking at a C, it does have kind of a throwback, a little bit more of a, an old school, clean masculine vibe, which, which I, I did dig, but honestly, I'm throwing it there in the middle because it's been a while since I've worn it. And when I went through the sample, I liked it, but not enough to buy a full bottle. And so now it's kind of on that back burner. You know, if I see a good deal, I'll pick it up. Millicene, Imperial. Millicene, gonna be an A for me too. And I'm looking like a fanboy here looking at this, but it is what it is. Millicene Imperial, really, really nice, salty, fruity, a great warm weather fragrance. Uh, a little bit of maturity to it too. Doesn't come across like a bubblegum sweet kind of fragrance. It's not overpowering. Uh, it's just a, a really nice scent and uh, one that I, I quite enjoy. I've got a couple bottles. So, Bois du Portugal, that's going to be a B for me. Uh, that one is a gentlemanly, very sophisticated fragrance that's going to probably appeal more to more mature guys out there. Younger guys probably not going to go for that one so much, but. I think it's really nice quality fragrance, one I really like, so that one's going to be a B. Neroli Sauvage, uh, it's going to be a D, a D, yeah. So Neroli Sauvage does have a nice, you know, white floral citrus scent. Uh, it is, to me, a little bit more of like a mature take on, on that kind of DNA, that backbone. Doesn't come across, at least to me, doesn't come across youthful. Not super refreshing either. I mean, it's not that it, it smells dirty or anything like that. It's just not like a big pop of bright citrus or anything. And at least for me, the uh, performance really sucks on that one. It's really bad. So that one's going to be a D. Uh, again, the cost versus what you're getting with that performance. Better alternatives out there. Okay, Virgin Island Water. This one has gotten a lot of hype. Over, over the years, people really enjoy it. For me, it's between a C and a B. So it's like right right there. <laughs> like if I could drop it right right in the middle. We'll give it a B, we'll give it a B. It's a good uh, warm weather fragrance. Performance off my skin, not great. Uh, a lot of people say like, oh, you can get Set Cell St. Bart's by Tommy Bahama for like 15, 20 bucks and it smells like Virgin Island water. They really don't smell the same. I, I do like Set Cell St. Bart's, but they're not the same. So if you've smelled St. Bart's and you're like, oh, I know what Virgin Island water smells like, probably really not. Not not anything against St. Bart's. Great fragrance, especially for the price. But Virgin Island water for me, as it comes to Creed summertime fragrances, falls below Millicene Imperial. Um, it's just, I don't like it as much. It does have a nice tropical vibe, but it just doesn't do it for me as much. Erolfa. Also going to be a B. Yeah, slot that one slightly ahead of Virgin Island Water. Arolfa is, uh, again, a little more mature to me. Like, you smell Virgin Island Water and you're like, yeah, young guys could wear that, no problem. You smell Arolfa and it's a little more like, hmm, they could if they, if they like that DNA, but the younger guy's probably going for Virgin Island Water. But again, summertime fragrances, Rolfa for me, a little bit better. And that's gonna leave us with Royal Water. And that is gonna be a C for me. Royal Water is a fragrance that is okay. You smell it, it's like, hmm, um, not bad, but not great. So right in the middle. And as far as creeds go, at least in my experience, of the ones listed here, Royal Water has been consistently the cheapest at discounters. Uh, now, who knows how that could change going forward, but anytime that I've looked up Creed fragrances, I've consistently been able to find Royal Water uh, for less than all of these. Uh, that one has a C, and that's another one that's more of a, a warm weather type fragrance, spring, summer type scent. Um, it is a, a bit forgettable. So if you wanted to bump that down to like a D, I wouldn't argue with you. So, th so that's my tier list, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Uh, obviously, it's, it's a bit top heavy. Uh, I've said it in the past that I am a Creed fan. I own a lot of their fragrances, so it makes sense that it would be a little top heavy because, I mean, if I didn't like them, I would just sell them. Let me know what you uh, agree with, you disagree with. I know some people are not going to agree with all of this. And again, like I said at the beginning, don't get worked up about it. It's okay. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys again soon with 
another tier list either the niche one or the designer one and then maybe we'll go from there I'll talk to Manny and maybe we can come up with some more of these because it's kind of fun it's uh just kind of like shooting the the stuff with you can't curse all right guys thanks for watching please like comment subscribe see you guys again next time